Ladies and gentlemen, we have alien technology on the one dollar bill. This is a representation of the Skull and Bones Society located in the nose of the kitty's hog nose bat that appears on the one dollar bill when you fold it one Fazagami fold, the America, you will see a kitty's hog nose bat with a wingspan of two and five eighths of an inch. A real kitty's hog nose bat in real life has a wingspan of two and five eighths of an inch fully grown. A real kitty's hog nose bat has this exact face, this exact nose, these exact ears, these exact configurations. Something put a kitty's hog nose bat with the yell skull and bones on the dollar bill opposing the great horned owl that represents the Bohemian Grove Society. And here is the face of the great horned owl on the dollar bill. So when you fold the bill in the configuration that you can see the words America, you will see these two icons. Now, in theory, they are satanic in nature because the Bohemian Grove Society worships the owl which represents Satan. And the Yale Skull and Bones Society represents another satanic cult in England. Therefore, these two societies are represented on the dollar bill along with, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, along with the fact that the entire green side of the dollar bill is the Ark of the Covenant. And these are my discoveries, and no one in the world can take those discoveries away from me. No one in the world can prove even one word of just what I said about the Yale Skull and Bones logos setting upon and within the kitty's hog nose bat's face the size of the kitty's hog nose bat and the fact that it's on the dollar bill. No one in the world can prove me wrong. Therefore, this is a discovery, and I am the first person in the world to discover this. And I have called up thousands of people. When I first wrote my book, Angels on the Ark, I have called up thousands of people. And do you know what kind of response I get from politicians, priests, and so-called scholars? Ladies and gentlemen, the so-called scholars of the world have given me the Dick of Doom, which is like when Mr. Obama gives the American public of the Dick of Doom, and the scholars of this world will not want to hear about the, my discoveries because of my discoveries that the Ark of the Covenant is on the one dollar bill. Prove that the Vatican controls the currency of the United States of America because the Vatican controls the Illuminati. The Vatican is the Illuminati, or the Illuminati is the Vatican. Take your choice. One and the other are the same, and they always have been since the beginning of recorded history, because whatever created the one dollar bill also wrote the King James Bible. And they have doomed the world into believing in this fake God in the sky. Although there is a God, it doesn't have a goddamn thing to do with the Bible. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Michael Fazio in Key Largo telling you that it doesn't matter what you think. If you are a so-called scholar, if you think you can prove the kitty's hog-nosed bat is not upon the one dollar bill, and if you think you can prove there is no skull and bones in the dollar bill, pictographs, if you think you can prove any of that, I will bet you $10,000 and donate it to your charity or the charity of your choice. And you will put up $10,000 and if you lose, I will take your $10,000. I will take it with glee in my eye. Because ladies and gentlemen, this is a real discovery. This is a discovery that has will set the world on fire when it becomes well known and published by the major media. But they won't do that because what you see before you 
is satanic in nature and it has taken over the newspaper industry, the political system, and all major religions of the world. That is why the kitty's hog nose bat, the face of the kitty's hog nose bat, and the skull and bones with teeth is in direct opposition of the great horned owl from Bohemian Grove. One represents the Yale Skull and Bone Society in the Bank of England. The other represents the War Machine of America. And the third, a.k.a. the Ark of the Covenant on the $1 bill, represents the Vatican that controls this world. Because the Vatican is the Illuminati, and the Illuminati is the Vatican. God day to all of you. And if you think you can prove any of this wrong, take a dollar bill out of your pocket and think again. Because this is Michael Fazio's greatest discovery. And remember, Obama's riding on the dick of doom.